When I was 21, I met this girl online, and we dated for about a year and fell in love. We decided to get married. Seven years later, I'm at home, and my wife is at work. That night, she had to ride with a friend to work due to snowfall that day. Basically, the driveway was undrivable. So, whatever. Makes sense. Next morning, she isn't home at her usual time. Hour goes by then, another. Eventually, she gets home. Nothing seemed off about her, but I kind of knew something was off. Like the aura around her was very different, it's hard to explain. I essentially alluded to her cheating, and she said she didn't, and her friend was a girl. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Days go by, and she kept bringing up this thing that at work, she has a sexual misconduct case against her for making sexual jokes. Which I'm like, well, that's dumb, but I keep bringing it up. One day, she says it again, and I just flat out ask her, you know you keep bringing this up and it seems like it's worse than you're telling me. Did it cheat on me? And she didn't say anything back, which told me everything. So in my own morbid IDK curiosity, fueled by emotional pain, I had to know exactly what was done. They fucked, and he came in her, then she blew him to another orgasm. Honestly, the second one hurts more than the first, but both hurt a lot. I gathered my shit to leave, and she cried and begged me to stay. We had two children. With a third, didn't know at the time who would be mine, but was believed to be the other guy's. I tried to make it work, but it never really healed. We divorced. She remarried. I've been single for four years now. I'd like to say I'm happy, but I'm not. Just lonely, I guess. To top it all off, she's been spreading lies about me lol. I completely forgot about this massive slap to the face. So after I found out, she cheated him at home again a few days later, and I'm cleaning stuff up, and I come across a phone she had a week or so prior, which now didn't work, but had all the messages and stuff still on it. So I go to messages out of curiosity, and sure enough, she was texting one of her exes and bad-mouthing me and talking about how I can't get the job done, a huge fucking lie. And she was talking about having him fuck her with his huge dick. I honestly was so heartbroken, I lost my shit, and packed my stuff for real, and waited till she got home. But in the meantime, I sent her messages telling her it's so over and so on. She came home acting rude, and whatever waiting to see if she said anything. Then she burst through the bedroom door, yelling at me for going through her other phone. I said, oh, so you're mad, I caught her doing something you never would have told me about okay grabbed my shit and began to walk out and she stopped me and did the whole crying bit and said she would let me fuck her and punch her and all kinds of weird ass shit. This is something I've read a lot about since it all. Seems the cheating woman will always cry about it and beg her to stay while enticing you with things to make you feel better. But they always turn those things against you later i.e. the lies she's told, some of which resulted in death threats from men I've never even met or know. Then she burst through the bedroom door, yelling at me for going through her other phone. I said, oh, so you're mad, I caught her doing something you never would have told me about okay, grabbed my shit, and began to walk out, and she stopped me, and did the whole crying bit, and said she would let me fuck her and punch her and all kinds of weird ass shit. This is something I've read a lot about since it all. Seems the cheating woman will always cry about it and beg her to stay while enticing you with things to make you feel better. But they always turn those things against you later, i.e. the lies she's told some of which resulted in death threats from men I've never even met or know.